Saludos mi gente, Rafi, video video de Criticólogos y nos encontramos en el Meet and Greet de la Professional Cosplayer Celestia, que es la victoria especial del First Attack 2016. So, welcome to Puerto Rico. And welcome to First Attack, obviously. Hi. Your first time here, right? It's uh, my second time in Puerto Rico, but first time here as a cosplayer. As a cosplayer. So tell, tell us how to tell a tall lifestyle of the cosplayer started. Uh, it started about six years ago when I started teaching myself how to make costumes and I started going to more conventions. Um, yeah, my lifestyle is basically where I just go to conventions almost every weekend now with, and I make as many costumes as I can a year. I uh, had the opportunity to interview, you know, fellow cosplayers like uh, Jessica Neely and uh, Diana Vamp and Christy Hughley before. I always ask them, um, which which one is the toughest cosplayer, the, the cosplay that you have done? Um, so, the right now, topical? yeah, right now I'm working on Farah from Overwatch. I'm doing one of her alternate skins and I'm still not done with the costume because it is so hard. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. It's made out of um, EVA foam, but it, the whole costume itself is armor um, and it's like a mecha inspired armor. So it covers my entire body. Uh, yeah, it's hard. That's it's hard. definitely hard. <laughs> so I, I, I love the fact that each of you have a different, you know, they, they, you cover different industries from gaming to you know anime from um, you know movies, TV. Each each one of you have different, you know, different industries that you cover. Um, you, you, which end do you lean? You, I've, I've seen your costume. Sure. You, do, you do a lot of, a lot of oh, them. Oh yeah. But, but I, which one do you lean to the, the most? Which one uh, you prefer? I, I mean, I think I, I. I'm very diverse. I don't really lean towards anyone specifically. Um, I mean, I do a lot of video game and anime cosplays. I'd say maybe my weakest cosplay is uh, comic book cosplays, which I'm trying to fix. I'm, not, I'm trying to do more comic book cosplays as well. For me, it's about having like well-rounded portfolio of like cool costumes and stuff. What is one of the weirdest things that a fan has done for you? Um, maybe because they have asked you or something. Um, I feel like there has been weird things. I'm trying to remember. I don't really keep tabs on them. Like, it's, if it happens, I'm just like, yeah, so many whatever. Happen. Um, weirdest thing. Um, there's nothing negative. I'll tell you. I know, I know I've never had anything bad happen to me with a fan. They've always, it's always been like really cool stuff. Actually, like the best stuff that's ever happened with fans. Um, I have this one fan from New York and he is so nice to all of us cosplayers that um, during like New York Comic Con, he'll bring us like a whole giant thing of like food. Um, he brings us like, dim sum. And it's amazing. Like it's, it's enough food for like 10 people. And of course there's like maybe maybe six of us cosplayers working at the, the booth we're at and he'll bring it all for us and we're like all eating like dim sum at the table. It's like the best thing in the world. And like that that's one of like my favorite things that, that a fan did for us. That's good, that's good. Um what can, what can we expect from Stella in the future? You just said that you're working on a on a, a, a cosplay that's pretty difficult. What other cosplay you're 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 Planning on working. I don't know actually. I mean, I really want to do a lot of Overwatch cosplays because um, I freaking love Overwatch. I did, did Widowmaker already, and I'm working on Farrah right now. But I really want to try and do all of the girl female characters, like all do all the female characters. I also want to try my hand at doing Thorborn. Thor Dorn, <laughs> Thor Dorn, can't pronounce his name. Yeah. The the guy with the turret. Yeah. But yeah, he he's awesome. Um, I really want to do his graduation uh, skin. I mean, he's, it's not in the game, it's like one of the outside of the game things, but um, yeah, just a lot of Overwatch. That'd be nice. Final question, what made you decide to do the Pikachu book, Pikachu could be able to for tomorrow? So, I, it's, gonna, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I know, yeah. I, I saw the promo, I was like, that, that looks really fun, so we gotta see that. What made you decide to do that? So, uh, First Attack is a fighting game tournament, yeah, and right. I you know, I didn't want to bring a cosplay that wasn't really relevant. Um, I have video game cosplays, but I didn't think that they, they're not fighting game cosplays. So they're really, really relevant. So I have Sakura from Street Fighter. I brought that. And I was asking my fans, like, hey guys, like, what do you think? What should I bring? I was doing help, like, they're helping me do some research. And then I chose the cosplay, but I wasn't really too into it. It was a character I'd never even played before. I wasn't really interested in it. And then like I was hanging out with some family, and we were talking about First Attack Puerto Rico. And I was telling them about the games that, that were going to be there. And I'm like, oh, and Pokemon Tournament's probably going to be there too. You know, Pokemon Tournament's like Pokemon with Tekken, mm -hmm. and there's cool like Pokemon Lasha, such, Lasha such as it. Pikachu, Lu Luchador. And I was I like, know. wait a second. Oh yeah. my god, I can make it. Yeah. I can make it right yeah. now. I have yeah. one and a half days left. Let's yeah. do this. Okay, and they're just like, oh, what just happened? Oh, okay, she's being weird now. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna let her go crazy. No, I'm just I, like, I'm gonna take notes. I need to do some research and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> do you play Fatal and Go? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Which team are you at? 
Balor. Thank you, thank you for the time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You have been so.